to Painting a Picture, a podcast that was created to describe paintings for the visually impaired, though anyone is welcome to listen. My name is Miranda Ruiz and I will be your host. Please note that this is my own interpretation of the following painting, and if you have a different one, that's okay. Today I will be discussing the Dido Bell Lindsay painting. It was painted by David Martin in approximately 1779 with oil on canvas. It depicts Dido Elizabeth Bell Lindsay and Elizabeth Murray, both in lavish dresses and fine jewelry. It was originally commissioned by Dido Lindsay's great uncle, Lord William Murray, 1st Earl of Mansfield, a well-known British barrister, politician, and judge. Dido Bell Lindsay, often called Bell, was a half-black heiress of the Lindsay family of Evelix. She was born to a slave woman in the British West Indies named Maria Bell, and her father was Rear Admiral Sir John Lindsay, a British naval officer. She was raised by her great uncle, Lord Mansfield, as a free gentlewoman with her cousin, Lady Elizabeth Murray. A movie called Bell was created about her story in 2013. In the center of the painting, Bell is to the left of her cousin, Lady Elizabeth, and is leaning forward with her left leg out in a walking motion. She has her right arm bent towards her face and her pointer finger resting on her cheek. Her head is slightly facing the painter and her eyes are bright with joy and life. She has a slight smile on her face, like she knows something you don't. Her skin is a warm brown, similar to the color of caramel. It is the color you feel when you are wrapped up warm inside on a winter's day with a cup of hot chocolate in your hands. On her head is a white turban with a peacock feather sprouting from the back. A string of pearls is draped around her neck and a jewel hangs from her ear. She wears a long sleeve gown with a V-neckline that is a pale green color and shines in the sunlight. The color is the feeling of wet, dewy grass on a cool autumn morning, clean and smooth. In her left arm is a bowl of fruit, and of blowing in the wind behind it is a sheer blue shawl with gold embroidery decorating it. The color reminds me of the feeling you get when you receive a delightful surprise or are excited for what is about to happen. Belle's cousin, the Lady Elizabeth, is to the right of her. Elizabeth's right hand is outstretched and resting on Belle's left elbow. Her left hand is resting on her skirts, holding open a book, showing she was an educated woman. Her skin is the color of creamy milk and her cheeks are dusted pink. The color of her skin reminds me of how, a so- how soft a baby's skin feels. Her lips are much brighter in contrast, a red that reminds me of the feeling of a first kiss. She wears a demure smile on her face and her eyes are as soft as a rabbit's coat. Her hair is a soft brownish blonde topped with a crown of small flowers. A two-banded choker of pearls is tied around her neck and her ears hold no visible earrings. Her dress is a pink that is akin to how the laughter of a baby or the tender kiss of a mother feels, and the skirt of the dress puffs out like a cream puff and has a sheer overskirt laying atop it. Lace adorns her sleeves, and on her chest is a white panel, likely under her main gown. The background is of a shore of a lake or pond next to a forest of friendly trees. Behind the two ladies appears to be a green-blue fence and the sky is a soft blue you hear when a young woman sings a light, happy song. The painting is currently owned by the present Earl of Mansfield and is housed in Scone Palace in Perth, Scotland. Well, that's all for today, and I hope you have had a wonderful time listening. It brings me pleasure knowing I am sharing my love for art with others, and I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Miranda, your host, signing out.